protests, marches, riots, old ladies getting fucking pepper sprayed in their fucking faces. Wow. There seems to be a lot of shit going on in the world, and we're here to bring it to you straight, clean, and uncensored. And by uncensored, we fucking mean it. Today our headline story is, of course, the massive shit storm brewing just off the coast of... No fucking shit land. Here's Nicholas reporting live. Hello, we are live here in one of the biggest storms of history. I mean, we've got like a 20% chance of poison gas clouds coming towards us, an 80% chance of a storm of shit, of nuclear shit and waste coming all over us. And look at this. There's even tents out here with college students camping out just for over some lame protest and Rubber bullets, tear gas, doesn't seem to do the trick. I mean, this is so lame. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? Indeed. Here to talk a bit of shit about this aforementioned shit storm is Melissa. This be some shit. Thanks, Melissa. There you have it, folks. This be some shit. So Tyler, why don't you tell me a little bit about the uh, characters that you have in your film? I hear they're going to be a bit of quirky uh, news people. What's going on with that? Yeah, well, it's sort of this down and out group of news people, news crew, news team, that is trying to do something different and up their ratings. We have a general comedic cast. There's the drunken, womanizing, old curmudgeon weatherman who is uh, looking, we're, we're shooting for more of a Ron White kind of old, conservative, not likable, so he's kind of the bad guy in the film. And then we have uh, more a Tina Fey-ish She'll female. be playing the lead? Yeah, she's going to be the protagonist of our film. She's, she's the one with the heart in the crew, she's trying to do some good and story is focused mostly around her and her striving to change the news team into something that is viable, doing some good for the community, actually doing quality journalism. And what motivates that? Uh, well, she has a run-in where her children are watching the news and they are just laughing because it's laughable. And that's where we get the mainstream media title is because right now the mainstream media is very laughable. And she is driven to change the perception through changing her, um, her news team to... Something making it different. something, making mainstream media more uh, accessible for not just adults, but also children, for the whole family? That, and making it a more serious endeavor by making it comical. Okay. Kind of on the lines of what The Daily Show has been doing. That's great. Also, um, I hear that you were looking for a Robin Williams type character? Yes, he what part will is he be going playing? to be the senior correspondent playing opposite, opposite Tina Fey. alongside Tina Fey. He's mm -hmm. gonna be kind of kind of the comic relief of the whole film. He's he's also gonna be serious. Not so he's gonna be a serious comedic guy, I guess you could say. I hear you guys were also trying to talk to people from uh, Comedy Central. Yeah, we would like to get any of their correspondence because that would from the Daily Show or Colbert Report, mm -hmm. and if we could get any of them on as characters in our film, that would play off of the comedy, I believe. Great, and um, I heard something about uh, the guy from Tosh Point oh, Is that? Yeah. So we need our cynical troublemaker, and we were thinking someone along the lines of Daniel Tosh playing a snarky, spoiled son of the TV station's owner 
who is on on the set as a sort of line producer who's just kind of there causing trouble being some kind of an asshole character and he's gonna be second bad guy character of sorts I know exactly the type of person you're talking about we have one of those on our set and um, who will be as since it's a uh, news news production you'll have someone doing sports and someone you know camera who, who's the behind the crew people as well who well, are the behind the crew people? we were thinking of someone kind of Wyatt Snacky for our sports commentator and then maybe a more George lopez -y, goofy good-hearted fellow for our cameraman because cameramen seem to be kind of the backbone of the entire crew whether it's a film crew or a news crew that's true couldn't do it without them and uh, one of my favorite comedians, Margaret Cho, what part will she, will you, you're trying to get a character sort of like her, right? Yes, yeah, she, uh, someone along her lines will be the kind of very serious, very always angry, yelling director of the entire news production. She will just be biting heads off left and right and always seeming to have a vein popping out of her head. Very angry character who really cares about the film or the news production. So she's kind of the angry father figure. Great. This film sounds hilarious already. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. All the best. So, why San Francisco? Why make it such a local Bay Area film effort? I mean, it is kind of expensive in San Francisco. Well, why not? <laughs> well, but serious, on a serious note, I was born and raised in the Bay Area. It's, it's in my blood, and I'm just 100% confident that San Francisco, one day, if not, if not already, will be the mecca of independent filmmaking, and we hope that to continue that tradition for generations to come. So, by... Uh, Producing your film here in San Francisco, you're helping put San Francisco on the map it, in the independent film world. Exactly. And with the two sponsors, that we can hopefully get that message across about the Bay Area in general, too. So um, this premiere, if we can go in a little more detail about it, mm -hmm. um, it's going to be your uh, main premiere leading up to it uh, will be online. Mm -hmm. And um, you're going to have advertisers like you're going to have actual commercials throughout it as if it were like a real uh, news broadcast? Uh, yes, that's the film that is being shot on a Sony HD camera. We plan to have Sony advertisements along with perhaps Coca-Cola because they're cast in the film that drink Coca-Cola and we do appreciate the revenue that Coca-Cola can give us. Great. Yeah. How are you going about uh, distribution in the film? Well, we're generally looking for online distribution. We want to get on viral, but if we can, we would like to distribute it theatrically for maybe local theaters. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of educate maybe rent a theater for a Friday for the weekend, perhaps for both parents and teenagers. All right, and um, also, Cruz, you mentioned something about um, Hulu, like a Hulu mm -hmm. approach. Yes. Could you go a little more into details of that? Uh, with the Hulu approach, we decided, you know, with our commercials, we can just use Hulu just to advertise our project and just to get the word out. And so you'll have actual commercials like Hulu does. Exactly. Nicholas, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Great. Thank you for coming on our show. I wanted to ask you a little bit about the financing of your film. Okay. Um, so, how I hear that you're going digital as opposed to film. What choice, you know, brought that on? Well, you know, with all the costs of film, you know, having to um, order film and purchase, like, um, you know, process it and mm -hmm. correct it and all that, um, it gets really costly. So, we decided we go digital. So this way, it's much easier to like um, transfer footage and edit it right. instead of having to. Use film and 
pay all the costs for it. Mm -hmm. And um, I also heard that uh, you'll be working mostly on location at San Francisco State University, is it? That is correct. Okay, and uh, why there? Um, it's, one, it's my old institution I used to go to, and, mm -hmm. and also I have a close relationship with some of the faculty in the departments, and um, they'd be willing to help us out in letting us use some of their, um, like their studios or um, offices and whatever. That's great. Mm -hmm. And uh, crew, how are you going about getting your crew together? Um, most of the um, cr production crew will be like students that are attending, and also some are going to be classmates I've had before. Sort of like an internship program as well? Yeah. Oh, that's great. And for actors, um, we're going to get some students from the theater department, and this will be an opportunity for them. Great. So as your lead actors or more for extras or, uh, sorry, background Americans, uh, is that what you'd prefer um, uh, or how you were thinking of putting them in? I think about using them for, for like the extras mm -hmm. and maybe for minor characters, but for main characters, we're talking about using Hollywood actors from the SAG. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, and in total, how much is the film going to cost more or less? Um, for, for the budget wise, we've kind of estimated that this will probably be about two hundred fifty thousand dollars or so. Wow.